Hello everybody, my name is Leandro Mada. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect the HMI ST6 to the solution that we have to connect remotely to the site, which is the EcoStructure Secure Connect Advisor. So, if we go to the presentation, here we can see the solution that we have. So, we have the three different components of the solution, the EcoStructure Secure Connect Advisor, which are the Site Manager, Gate Manager, and the Link Manager. In this part, we're only going to focus on the Site Manager, which is the HMI, that we want to connect to the HMI. But in order to do that, we need to download an application from the EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert to the HMI to be able to program the access to the solution, which is the Secure Connect Advisor. So, the idea that we have is to make this exercise. We're going to, have to connect to, from the laptop to the HMI via USB to download the application that we're going to, to develop on the software EcoStructure Operator Terminal, Operator Terminal Expert, which is the software to program the HMIs, this type of HMI. Uh, we're going to have internet connection, okay, via router to the laptop and the HMI ST6. And on the HMI ST6, we're going to configure the site manager. Just go back a little bit. The site manager is the one that we need to configure on the HMI side. And in order to connect the site manager to the game manager, there are some information that we need to share from the game manager to the site manager to establish this secure connection. So, we need to create a project, but let's go to the operator terminal expert. So, this is the software, the EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert. Let's create a new project from here, from top. Here in the system architecture, we have the target 01. We can change this from HMI training or wherever you want, no problem. HMI training, enter. And then here we have the HMI that we want. In my case, I'm going to use this one, HMI ST6400. Okay. If we go to function basic, we can see here the configuration of the ports of the HMI. This HMI have two different ports, so that's why you have two Ethernet ports. Okay. To make it easy, we're going to select the DHCP so we can have the direct access to the Ethernet over this. Our router, our hound, the router or the office will give us the IP configuration okay, of the network. And then at the bottom here, we can select the transfer method, USB. Something else that we need to configure is here. In the advanced, we need to configure the data access. We need to select the EcoStructure Secure Connect Advisor. And in the future, we're going to have the, like we have on BGO Designer, which is the web gate, we have the web server for the for this HMI ST6. So we can enable this to get access remotely to the HMI and see the same as you saw on the HMI, but in a browser. So, this is the configuration of the HMI for the ports, and this one is to, trans to enable the EcoStructure Secure Connect Advisor. But, what we need to do is to define how we can configure um, the data from the gate manager into the, this HMI. So, what we need to do is to add this object on the screen, there we go, hardware configurator. We need to add this into the HMI. Okay, remember to expand this. So we can get access to the information of the secure connect in here. And then what we need to do is to transfer to the target. In my case, I have this template that I usually use. 
just hold that a minute okay I have this template so I have the configuration over here as you can see I'm working with uh, this HMI this configuration we go back here advanced data access I have enabled everything the structure and the web server I have already download that to the target okay so let's see if I forget about everything something else no it's complete good good now what we're gonna do is to download the application in my case I have already downloaded it just stop a check here this is the HMI so I'm going to press system in there this is the this part is the object that we have already created okay is this the hardware configurator and this is everything by default you can see there let me just move the camera a little bit down there we go these are the objects by default by the system and in the bottom you can see the eco structure secure connect advisor okay if we scroll up you can see here that I have the Ethernet port 1 and the 2. If you, you press this one, you can enable or disable the DHCP and then configure your fixed IP. Okay, I'm gonna leave it as it. Go back. What we need to do now is to go to the Secure Connect. scroll down okay you have the enable and disable I'm going to enable and you're going to press this one to go further okay you cannot see too much over there okay probably there okay so this is the configuration that I have from another connection so what I need to do now is to open my connection okay to the game manager let's log off login let's just log in okay so this is me I'm going to connect with the link manager okay the link manager is connected there is no need in this part but I'm gonna do it anyway so now from here we need some information here is the domain token he asked me for the domain token here you can see and the gate manager address this information can be found on the email that the platform sent to you okay this is the information that we need to put on the HMI in my case as I already made the connection to another site with this HMI I'm going to initialization so I'm going to delete all the information that is here and I start over so again it asks me for the game manager so it's one three seven four one three again and one two nine enter I don't know if you can see it over there but this is what I have entered and here the domain token in our case is s e u k dot and there are some numbers in there five Two zero one nine six one nine six 
enter and here is the name that we want to be displayed on the on the gate manager so i believe i have uh, made a specific name here hmi training okay and let me just go back to the gate manager here okay hmi hmi training good so down save and this is enable back so let's refresh this and you can see here that the HMI has appeared in our configuration okay so this is the steps to connect the HMI it's not to connect it's like um, make the communication between the initial communication between the HMI that will be the side manager to the gate manager what we're going to see later is about the license once again and how to configure the device agent to this HMI training that we have already defined here let me just see I forget something in this part okay I think that's everything and in case you need to do another side you can't initialize over here so thank you very much for watching me and if you have any other question just give us a call or send us an email